Wait, did you, did you start playing baseball or stickball? If you lived on the streets, where did you... I mean, you lived in the city. Where did you play out in the street? Or what? We played stickball for many years, uh, Dick. Yeah. Uh, then uh, I was actually a first baseman. I went to high school here in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. And I was a first baseman right through high school. And I went up for a tryout at the stadium, and uh, they give you five swings, and I didn't reach the outfield <laughs> grass. So they, they said, why don't you try something else? So I started pitching then, and yeah. that's how it started. But I played a lot of stickball here in New York. He played 18 yeah. years and never reached the outfield grass. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to honor you with a, uh, is it a bronze plaque uh, that's going to be out in center field? And, uh, when is that coming up? And then... uh, Sunday, uh, between, we have a doubleheader with Cleveland mm -hmm. Sunday. And uh, between the games, it's going to be uh, presented. DiMaggio, Joe DiMaggio, uh, Paul, you might want to come out. <laughs> and uh, myself are going to be honored. They're going to put behind the uh, monuments, they're going to uh -huh. put up uh, a couple of plaques. Are those on, they're plaques, not statues. I mean, no, they're in other plaques, words, you, no. the center fielder couldn't be going out for a fly and run into them or anything. Well, <laughs> there's, there's three plaques out there already. Uh, Lou Gehrig and uh, Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth and, uh, Dick, if I might yeah. interrupt. Uh, Hogan. Sure. Hogan. Joe DiMaggio was a center fielder when I joined the Yankees in 1950, mm. and I sent him back. This these. Monuments are 460 feet from home plate, and not many people hit balls out there. Right. And then the plaques are right behind, about five feet behind. And uh, I had DiMaggio back there many times when I was pitching, chasing balls that were hit off of me and Mickey for 18 years. A lot of times I lost them behind the monuments. Did you ever wonder what it would be like if you played against each other? You'll never know. Well, I've only pitched against him once, and he got a base hit off of me, and yeah. that wasn't. <laughs> In spring training, it was a, oh, around. It was a, like an inter-squad game. Uh, you know, in the spring, they, uh, sh they uh, divide up the team into two teams. Before the uh, real game starts, you play about oh, yeah. three or four inter-squad oh. games. And one game, uh, Whitey was pitching against me, and Elston Howard was catching. And Elston told me what Whitey was going to throw. He says, Come on. <laughs> he says, well, I could never. Uh, I'll tell you, if, if you're wondering how it would have come out, Whitey would have been the best. Because really? the best pitcher always, uh, I mean, the, if a good pitcher can always, uh, a good pitcher has the hitter mm -hmm. uh, overmatched, we call it. And uh, you have mm -hmm. to really hit good against the bad pitchers, really. But anyway, Ellie told me what, what he was going to throw. He said, it's going to be a fastball. So uh, Whitey threw me a fastball, and it was outside. And I didn't, I just, I knew it was going to be a fastball, so I could time it perfect, you know. And a, yeah. anything outside, you have to hit it right back through the middle. And I almost knocked his hat off. <laughs> and it scared the hell out of me and Ellie both. <laughs> I didn't mind Elston telling him what was yeah. coming, but then he stole my job as first base coach <laughs> two years later. <laughs> that, that, that's when it hurt. That's when it How hurt. do you decide who's roommates on a team? I mean, did you choose each other? Uh, did you... Were well, you particularly I, friendly, or? We were very friendly. Uh, I met Mickey in 1951 for the first time, but yeah. uh, actually they didn't want us, they weren't too keen about us rooming together when we were younger. They tried to keep us apart, but you know, we, uh, yeah. Billy, uh, Billy Martin roomed with Mickey. Uh, I roomed with Yogi. I roomed with Billy for a while. Uh, Why do you have to have a roommate? I mean, do you tell each other bedtime stories, or what? There must be some... <laughs> Well, well, we didn't really room together, really, the last, uh, about the last five or six years. We had separate rooms, but they were always adjoining, you know, uh, in, care, in case we wanted to watch your show or something like course, that. Of course, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or if, if what he was watching your show and I didn't like it, I could go in the other room. <laughs> right? I see. That's the only use uh, for that door in between. Eh? <laughs> uh, I was going to ask you if the fans ever got on your nerves during a game, because the Yankees were the most loved and the most hated because of the, what was it, 12? Was it 12 pennants in 14 years at, at the peak? We won, yes, 12 pennants in 14 years. Yeah. But New York's a type of town, Dick, where it seems like it's 50-50. It, you know, a lot of tourists come through here and they go to Yankee Stadium, Shea Stadium, mm -hmm. uh, and it seems that uh, the, the fans are very uh, even up in Yankee Stadium. You don't have, uh, you know, 90% rooting for the Yankees and 10% for the opposing team. It's mm -hmm. It's usually 50-50, and when we go to other towns, it's just the opposite. Uh, everybody hates the Yankees. Yeah. yeah. They do, really. You know, um, I was re reading about the fact that you, I think it was your father taught you to hit both ways, to switch hit. Yeah. And well, he, when, uh, you, when you teach, I was just going to, this may be an embarrassing question, but when you teach a kid who's right-handed to become left-handed, parents used to make that mistake a lot of times, and the kid would have troubles because of it. And you were taught to do both things. 
And I wondered if any troubles showed up in your personality because of that. Uh, maybe I could just ask Whitey, was he a bedwetter? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I I've been... Right. You know about that? Yeah, until I was about 16 years old. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, you think that's what was wrong? I, I wonder. I don't know. <laughs> no, I know. really did. It's hard to... You went to bed to that's... your 16... <laughs> Mickey Mantle <laughs> Listen How We've made a possible? lot of A lot of bedwetters feel better about this At this moment <laughs> Bedwetters of all ages We'll be back uh, after this short message 